Hey fam, it's your girl, Miss Diva Truck 43. I'm coming to you today, honey, because we have uh, we have gossip. We have news, honey. We have news, child. Listen. Me and Ashawn, we finished our three weeks out there on the road. It was a wonderful experience. He is now driving my car all the way down to Biloxi, Mississippi by himself, okay? So, you know, we had to have that talk, honey, because... <sighs> so, um, but uh, we came in yesterday. He got a chance. I mean, he really helped me out. And, you know, as far as planning routes and the states we went in and the places we stayed and things like that. The only thing that I didn't get a chance to do with him is he wanted to go skydiving. Okay. And child, listen, I wasn't trying to uh, go any kind of skydiving. I wasn't even looking for the place. Okay. But um, we made it back safe and sound um and he's on his way to biloxi and i have i have i have i have come in and i'm no longer with KLM. okay um i just want to say I, I came in yesterday i turned my truck in and um you know everything got my paperwork signed and everything and i just want to say that kayla will always honey always be my family child that is where i got my start that is where i went to school that is where i graduated that is where i learned how to drive a manual honey that is where i went out training that is where you know, when things got rough out there at Eagle, I was able to come back, no problem, got in a Volvo, honey, and then was able to train, okay? So, you know, that's what we talk about. You have to get your start somewhere, and it's been two years. You know, time time flies so fast when you're having fun, child. But um, it's been two years, so it hurts me to my heart, girl. I still represent KLLM, honey, to my, I, you know, hey, you can leave KLLM, but you can't take the KLLM out the girl, child. But listen, um, I'm doing something else. Okay, I am gonna let y'all in and let y'all know what I'm doing, child. Let let y'all know where I'm at. Um, it's with a smaller company. I leave out tonight, uh, and I'm being orientation Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So when I get finished and get my truck and all that kind of stuff, I am gonna let y'all know where I'm at. Okay, um, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. And the best thing about you know, growing and moving on is like whenever you are, you keep your record clean, uh, you get your endorsements, um, you are val you are valuable. You just don't know. A lot of doors start to open up for you once you start getting your experience. You know, I see it opened up my eyes a lot about, you know, the company side of things versus the lease side of things because a lot of times, you know, the benefits and, and, and the more you get your experience, that pay will come for you. Um, so I'm going to explore and tell you about different things about that. Um... I'm going to a smaller company, okay? They only have like 200 and some drivers or something like that. But I'm going to tell y'all more about that later. But I just wanted to come and tell you. I told y'all I had some news, but I had to break it down to you once at a time. Y'all can't take all that at one time. So I had to break it down to you once, at once, you know, a video, okay? So um, I just want to update you let you know that's what's going on with me right now. And I'm very excited about it. I'm going to miss my Volvo. Woo! Girl, <laughs> child, I'm a miss it. I'm a miss it, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You can't, you know, just go on the truck, honey. You gotta, you gotta grow. So, I'm just thankful, and I am very blessed that I was given the opportunity to do the things that I was able to do at KL and them. I'm going to miss them. But um, we're going to move on and we're going to start fresh new somewhere else. And I got we, I got all kinds of stuff going on. OK, so I'm going to let y'all in on it and let y'all know what's going on. Um, 
other than that, that's it. Uh, I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July. Um, I was out there working, so, you know, I, I mean, I kind of enjoyed it because it was not that much, you know, truck traffic as far as, you know, truck drivers, the parking lot and everything was all open and I ain't had to fight for a parking space and, you know, it was kind of enjoyable. So I was able to go through, I think, the Smokies and things like that. I was up there in Wisconsin. I was, you know, I was just everywhere. But um, another thing is I want to say, what's up? What's up, nephew? Chuck Brown. He is something else, honey. He done called out the diva, child. Um, the question, the video, the response, honey. Let me come in and tell you about it. He wants to know, do us women think that we are better than the men? Are we better in the trucking industry than the men? Honey, child, listen. The record speaks for itself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We do not think that we're better than the men in this industry. No, uh, uh not at all, not at all. We, um, well, I want to. I can't talk about other women, but I want to talk about um myself. You know, I feel like we have a lot to prove out here. You know, being females in a male-dominated industry, I feel like that we don't want to be better. We we want to be respected. We want to be valued as uh, a female driver. We want to be able to do the same things and not depend and be independent on uh doing doing the thing different things in the transport industry not only do we drive we uh, we we dispatch we brokers you know we, there's a lot of things that we do out here owners of trucks we have women that are fleet owners you know women that own trucks you know we out here driving so we do a lot I think we take it very seriously um, um, out here you know when we drive and there's so many women in so many different fields you would be surprised of uh, the the things that we're out here doing I mean you have heavy hauling you have oversized loads you have women in the auto industry you have women doing flatbed you know I'd be like hey girl high five to you honey I mean hey girl you was out here doing it when I see them you know and um you know it, it, it's amazing and, and it's like you know we we girl you doing it because we know that this job is not easy you know it, it takes a very dedicated person to be out here on the road away from their family and especially if you're a mother and you got kids so do we think that we're better no, but we want to be treated equal. Um, I don't think I'm better than anyone. You know, I just want to be able to be respected, you know, treated as a woman just because uh, I don't want to be treated as a man, honey. I want to be treated as a woman. When I come to the, through the door, I expect, you know, if you're walking in front of me, that you open the door, that you have the door open for me if I'm coming behind you. And, you know, we have, you know, smart people out here, you know, they walk in front of you, they don't open the door. I always tell them, you know, hey, age before beauty, honey, go ahead and do you, okay? But, um... And we take a lot, you know, I talk to women about things that they're going through. And, you know, Miss Tamara, you know, um, I was at a shipper and, you know, there was three other men that came after me, three other trucks. And this man uh, made me wait to the last one, you know, so we go through stuff like that, you know, um, and we deal with it the best way we can. You know, and we speak up for ourselves and we let people know that we out here, we know what we are doing. Um, when I'm a trainer and I teach other women how to uh, drive, I also teach them how to be totally independent. I don't want you getting on somebody else's truck and they have to depend, you have to depend on them to help you back and you have to depend on them to do this and do that. No, everything that you do on this truck, you're going to learn how to do yourself. It is hard for us. It's very hard. The stress level is way high. Okay. So that's why we are so, uh, 
excited, well, at least I am, when we do see uh, other young women entering the industry and taking this job serious. We don't have time to sit in the truck stops. We don't have time to, uh, we get out there, we on our hoods, baby. We checking the truck. We we doing it. You know, we know what's going on with it. Um, you see us out there, you know, women be tiny. They be out there doing it. And um, we don't want to be disrespected, you know, and we have to keep people at their distance and let them know that I'm out here just like you and um, I want to be treated the same way. You know, I don't want to be catcalled. I don't want to be walking across the parking lot and, you know, you saying this and you saying that, you know, I don't be on a CB. You're right. I don't be on a CB. I don't hang out and, you know, I'll say hi. The only people that I talk to is if you know me from YouTube, baby, I will have a conversation with you. But uh, other than that, I keep it moving, you know, because we, 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 we have a job to do and a lot of us got families at home and our focus is providing for them you know um i will touch on that a, a bit more you know why a lot of us are starting to get in the industry um but yeah baby that's your answer honey and i hope i've answered your question i hope i've responded to your question baby keep doing what you're doing i love you honey and another thing is that too um when I came in this industry, I looked at the women that I look up to are um, Brenda Banks and Dee Silva. Um, Dee Silva's been in this industry for over 24 years, okay? Much respect goes out to her. Um, and the way she does it and the way she videotape, you, don't, you know, it's, it's classy. It's classy. It's um it's educational is you know you can be out here doing it and I, I looked at her I looked up to her I looked up to um, those are the women that I looked up to and I would never want to uh, disrespect them in any kind of way and um, when I'm doing it I hope that I do justice as uh, what how they did it you know and 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 I I'm, I often you know, call or uh, talk to uh, D to make sure, you know, hey, you know, did, is there anything out the way, you know, do I need to know this or do I need to know that? And um, I hope that, you know, and I pray and I know that she's pleased about, you know, the things that I'm doing uh, out here with the videos and things like that. I also look to my young sister, honey, Miss Sugar Ray Williams. You know, and um, she has such a presence about her, which is beauty and uh, just being a veteran and being able to be out here as well and discussing the struggles and everything. And, and, and when I can get a student and they tell me, you know, I watch this person and I watch this person and other females out here, um, it says a lot. So it hurt me to my heart when I when I when she was doing a video and she said, you know, I don't think I, I'm gonna be able to do this. You know, people gonna be coming, they they come at you, and it's such disrespect, and it's crazy how you know I expected you know other women to uh, uh, be critics or say this or say that and come out, and it hasn't been. Uh, my most biggest critics that I've had has been men. You know. Um, uh, uh, trying to um make you feel a certain way you know so shout out to her shout out for you know keeping uh doing what you're doing and we're gonna have our tough days and we're gonna have people come and say this and that but you know you gotta keep strong you gotta keep pushing because it's a reason it's a reason that you're doing this and it's a reason that people look to you and they're proud of you and 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 they need you they need you to continue to do what you do so shout out to you honey i love you i love you and um it is what it is so i hope i answered your question Barbara. i'll talk to y'all later and um that's it. Bye.